Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, nom 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 69 here today with another game development tutorial. And this, unlike my SDL tutorials and my visual ba well, it's more like my visual basic tutorials. This is a game development tutorial, not a like specific part of the library or API tutorial. Today we're gonna to be making a game in C and SDL, as you can tell by the title. Um today we're making Pong. And uh, it's gonna be split up over several videos. Um, because I want to break it up so that each clear and concise chunks to the videos. So here with part one, we are going to be setting up our SDL libraries. And I think that's it because that's a pretty time consuming process. So first we're going to Google SDL uh, tutorial, uh, not SDL tutorials, SDL download. And you saw my Dreamcast stuff there. I was looking up some stuff on that because I thought one time I saw, never mind. Anyways, uh... We need to download the development versions of the live. So we Google SDL, livesSDL.org. So that's download-1.2.php. And we go, we scroll down past the runtime libraries all the way to the bottom to the development libraries. Win32, vc.zip. Click that. And there we go. And we're going to need another library. So we'll come in here to SDL TTF download. If I can spell download right. Lives. We're, we're getting this package from livessdl.org slash project slash sdlttf alright and I feel like I'm rushing I don't want to rush I want to slow things down alright so we need the binary so we're scrolling down binary windows um, vc develop 2011 zip start there and hopefully so download that and let me go just make sure my downloads has nothing stupid in it and just deleted some stuff out of it. Here's your download folder. All right, so we've got our SDL TTF develop 2.0 VC, SDL develop 1.2.15 VC. I would just download. We can close out of our browser. We won't be needing that anymore. And let's create a new folder on our desktop for the SDL library. So SDL Pong Lives is what we'll call it. And we'll just cut these two things out of there. And we shall paste them here and I'm going to extract extract them both here alrighty so now we have our libraries extracted time to set them up in Visual Studio C++ 2010 Express Edition which is what I'm using um, if you're using a different compiler such as code blocks or uh, I don't know what else you use oh dev C++ if you use that for some reason actually dev C++ looks a little bit cleaner to me than uh, code blocks but anyways that's besides the point um, I'm talking really fast. I need to slow down. Um, create a new project. Um, we'll call this project Pong. Okay. So we've downloaded SDL TTF and SDL. This is the regular. Download Pong and just add a new item. We're only going to do one source file on this. We'll call it main.cpp. Okay. We'll add that in there. And now we need to go to project Pong properties. Go to configuration properties, linker, and uh, well, we don't need to go to linker yet. Go to VC directories, executable, we don't need any of those. Include, edit, we need to include, first we need to include, uh, we need to include SDL, so that's on my desktop, which is up here. SDL Pong Lives, SDL, include, just, so just select the include folder. And we need the SDL TTF include, so we will go to back to my desktop, SDL Pong Lives, SDL TTF include, select folder. Okay, now we need a library um, directories. So first we go grab from our desktop, SDL, um, that's the wrong folder. I meant SDL Pong Lives, my SDL, my personal use SDL folder is different. Um, SDL um, 1.2.15 live. I'm on x86 computer. Um, if you're 32 bit, it's x64. Um, I'm six. I'm 86. Selecting that. Got the SDL lives. Now we need to go to our desktop. Go back down to the SDL Pong lives. SDL TTF live x86 x86. Select folder. Okay. Now we've included SDL, the SDL uh, libraries. So that way we can use the SDL functions and whatnot. So now we need to go to input, edit, 
and I haven't memorized these, so I'm gonna just copy them in, and then I'll tell you what they read. Um, we need to our additional dependencies: SDL dot lib semicolon next line SDL main um, SDL capitalized main all lowercase dot lib and SDL not image but TTF dot lib. Um, SDL underscore TTF dot live semicolon in case you can't read that I know the font small um, probably will be even worse when I upload this so okay okay now we can include SDL dot H include SDL TTF dot H and int main and oh I forgot something uh, I need to open up a different instance of VC++. Um, as you know, the SDL, how it works, um, it's int main functions a bit different than a regular int main. And I can, oh, I always forget about that. I always forget. And I haven't had that memorized either. I've got everything else I need to use in that library memorized, except this int main. So include SDL.h, SDLTTF.h int main in argc comma char multiplication sign args and then open bracket close bracket close parentheses int main and down here we'll return zero and we shall just we'll test out everything sdl init sdl init everything on line one sdl quit down here and since we have ttf in there might as well init both of those so ttf init and ttf quit so now if we hit f7 and compile this hopefully everything works out just fine entry point must be defined huh I have an idea which one that is so we go to oh mm, we forgot something so when your prong property pages um, in your properties of the things Go to system, subsystem, and set it to Windows subsystem, okay? And now we hit F7. And the build succeeded. We're not done yet. So in my Dropbox is where the Pong files will be. They're being uploaded right now. Our debug. Right now it just has the EXE in there. It's missing all the DLLs for the application. So we need to go to S our SDL Pong libraries on the top. 1.2.15 for the SDL. Come here, x86. Copy our SDL, um, SDL DLL into the debug folder. Control V. Um, I love Dropbox. It's my favorite. It is the best thing in the world. Save everything. So go back to our SDL Pong libs on desktop. Go to the TTF lib x86 for me. Copy. I'm got to copy all these DLLs in, and because of the beautifulness of um whatever this application is um oh I just cut all those in there I should I'm gonna copy them back in so that way they're still there in case we need them alright so copy all the DLLs from the uh, files we downloaded the live.3type-6 DLL SDL.DLL um SDLTTF.DLL and zlive.dll and now we run our pong application runs no error we are good to go so thanks for watching guys this is the first part of our pong tutorial of setting up sdl and sdl ttf um sdl will be used for all the rendering of the uh, images and whatnot ttf is so we can keep track of the score so thank you for watching um remember to like comment favorite and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys on the next tutorial